a top that matches this bottom, so that way I could just be all plaid. That would be so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think you want that. <laughs> but we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Lavender Suarez versus A West, who I'm not familiar with. I don't know if they're a Long Island native or if they heard about the tournament and they came out here. But uh, this is going to be tough for my man, A West, because Suarez, you know, one of the best in the business, New York PR right now, one of the best Yoshis to do it. Yes, he's always, he's had that uh, mantle for a fair amount of time yeah, right yeah. now. It's true. Uh, but we're going to PS, uh, PS2 Game 1, the classic. Snake Yoshi, honestly, though. So it's a, it's a definitely interesting matchup. Um, yeah. I, uh, Snake's got some really good anti-airs that can stuff Yoshi out. Mm -hmm. um, but Yoshi's mo mobility can kind of mitigate that fact a little bit. Um, and, of course, the big combos on Sma uh, Snake coming out. Going to be huge, uh, depending on if Suarez can get his extensions. And oh my. Just like that. Can't get greedy. Yeah, Suarez, no. Suarez is probably pretty aggressive, I'd say. He, oh, he, for sure. He goes off stage for that edge guard more often than not. So if you're trying to counter edge guard Yoshi, I don't feel like you're going to have a good time just yeah. given how good his airspeed is. Plus, Yoshi was only at 10, you know. <laughs> What's the matter to him if he gets hit? Yeah, for real. Um, I think this is like Sna Snake. Usually, the, what makes him a good character is that he can be played in a variety of different ways. This is definitely a matchup I feel like where you're just dropping nades everywhere and running the entire time. You know, I've, we've seen John over quarantine. You know, fight really good Snake players like MVD. Yeah, and MVD plays very defensively. He runs away. He lays nades down, and that that definitely was got very frustrating for John to deal with. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a matchup he's greatly improved upon. Yeah. Um, and it's something you know. It's what you gotta do as a competitor, right? Find out the matchup, learn it works. And honestly, it, it's it's working pretty well right now. So for A West, I think you just gotta camp more, buddy. Honestly, just lay more nades because you're trying to scrap with. That that's the second jump also that's been called out. Yeah, it, it, it's tough to out. Oh, he's uh, going for it, yo. <laughs> beat Yoshi in the scramble because he's got those really fast nares and um, other moves that will just get him out of stuff. The double jump armor will just say, no, I don't wanna. You know, he just won't be in the scramble anymore. <laughs> My son wants that fair spike badly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, yeah, yeah, and that was a really good wait by Swords. He wouldn't have had enough time to get an aerial out, but he just waits for Snake to land. He's got nowhere else to go when he gets the down smash out. This is the round one pool struggle at smaller events, because, like, you might play your round one, you get, like, depending on your seed, you get a guy who's probably, like, around, like, probably gonna maybe go 0-2 or drop into losers like super early and then you get the unfortunate one where you just get the unfortunate unlucky top player seed right away so I think it, when you're a player in this situation I feel like the best thing you can really try to do is just try to get advice after the set and also watch the VOD over if the commentators know what they're talking about and try to play it a little bit by ear like just focus more on learning uh, I mean win winning's nice too but I feel like there's definitely a considerable skill gap here. For yeah, for sure. Like, when you're coming up against someone um, who, uh, who you know is, like, a well-renowned player, like, it, there's no wasted effort playing them, right? Especially when it's on stream, you can always look back and see what's going on. Right. Um, and that's the way to get better. <laughs> <laughs> My boy wanted to blow him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the softest tap. Oh, I'll put it away. I'll put it away. I love that. Your miss input F smash just leads to Snake pulling an RPG and always like, <laughs> just pull out. I'm gonna pull this whole place to smithereens! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that was a really good um, neutral play to get him out of the shield on the platform. It can be tough, you know. You have to remember when you're fighting a character with a command grip like yeah. that. That um, shielding on platforms. <laughs> ooh, no. <laughs> just going down to get him. That's the worst feeling, too. Characters like Peach or Yoshi with like fares like that, they can not get clipped by the cipher, but can take out just the cipher without hitting Snake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so tough to do it. That's where you have to start. I think recovering a little lower. Maybe use C Force or. Well, he was recovering lower. low, but you just also don't expect Yoshi to go it's down Yoshi, that far. Though, yeah. yeah. You always have to remember how far your opponent can go off stage, because uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, huge for how you want to do your recoveries, yeah. right? If their threat bubble off stage is most of the stage, then you really got to think about That's it. That's true. Yeah. I think also just these grenades A West has been pulling. They don't really have much purpose. He's kind of just lobbing them on the stage just to have them there. Like, okay, that was good. He did the, uh, yeah. the Dio tech or the uh, Shogun tech, I think it is, where you pull out one grenade and you like hit C or something and uh -huh. get a second grenade almost immediately. That was cool. So like that stack that every snake player should know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just just leave them right in front of you. Let Yoshi do, like if you're doing most of oh, Yoshi's yeah. work for him, then you've already got because Yoshi's approach game not. Not the best, honestly. Yeah, not, like, yeah. Crazy good. 
The spores will hate this, but the way to beat Yoshi is to camp him out. Yeah, uh, literally. <laughs> it's true, though. See, and the bear there not breaking the cypher, but still getting the good damage for the next one kills. Is it knockback that breaks the cypher? I, I want to... Because when I get hit by bear, bear from Yoshi, I'm getting, like, slammed on real hard. Yeah, I believe it's percent. I believe it's around 14, mm -hmm. but someone can correct me on that. Um, I, I, even, even with all my commentary experience, I will always default to asking the better player for <laughs> like logistics about the game because they probably know more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, good commentator tip for any of you aspiring casters out there. Learn to yeah, respect the Make the, the other guy do Yeah, do make the, the other guy do your work for you. <laughs> more than just commentary, by the way. Um, <laughs> that was such a good bear. Very sneaky bear. Yeah, yeah that yeah, bear's yeah. just got the lingering hitbox and Yoshi was high enough to just, you know, die from a tap like that. And now we're finding ourselves at more of an evenish game. Honestly, AOS doing a lot better this time. Yeah, the big stage and um, is really helping him out here. Mm -hmm. You know, keep his space and stay grounded without too much pressure. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And of again, he, he drifted in. You never want to just hold in after you get hit once by Yoshi. Always assume that Yoshi's probably going to follow up because he has the airspeed. And yeah, yeah, His yeah. head is so fat.